Good afternoon, everybody. This is a new episode of Walk and Talk. This is the first time I'm doing this in the afternoon. Such a beautiful day in the Saga Hood. It's on my way out. On my way out to Oceans. I just left my house. Um, my apartment is being renovated. As you see, it's almost unpainted. Uh, the carpentry, the car, um, the contractor was there for almost, I think, probably say two weeks. Um, yeah. If you, so, I'm gonna have to tell you some good, some stuff that has happened over the past week. Um, I just finished hosting all my content from, uh, from the Rogue concert and. Uh, the Jose Mari Chan and company and the company band, a Christmas in our hearts. Um, it was a very, very fantastic experience. Um, I really enjoyed it. I was like, I love being part of the Filipino community, reaching out to them, especially now they are like my new family. So it was like the best. So now tonight I'll be going to stage manga for Zumba. And I won't officially see the rest of the ages report until December the 15th. And then this weekend, I'm going to be, uh, this weekend, I, I miss him so much. This weekend, I'm uh, going to be going to Jingle Beat in the mix. Jingle Beat featuring CVP, DJ Old School, DJ Itzo, hosted by MC Fab P up in uh, Woodbridge. And that, well, before that, I was told that we're going to go see DJ Good Vibes at 4040 featuring J Online. That's going to be interesting. That's going to be fun to go support the boys. And also, and then go to the party. Um, if you, Now I'm going to talk a little serious, but this is an educational lesson here. Um, last week when I was at uh, Stage uh, Manga, um, I uh, was recording at Stage Manga and they thought it was live. And because you know how the red, how the red, like the red uh, symbol, like the red color when you're recording and stuff like that, they thought I was live. So one of my, um, one of the members from the Ageless, who is a Yams, asked me to go live. So I'm like, okay, I'll go live. So then, hold on, let me just cross the street. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. Um, so they asked me to go live. So know what I did? Um, first time I've ever done this, I let them go on my live on Facebook. And I wanted to go be, be behind the scenes because I wanted to put the girls over. You know, and I didn't want to make it about me, right? I wanted to make it about them because they work very, very... It was Yams, Glads, and Annie. So, people thought I was hiding. I'm like, no. Why would I hide on my own Facebook where I already agreed to them go going on my live? Right? Just be careful what you guys say, please. Like, that's... Like, you know, just be careful what you guys say because I had this planned already. And I wanted to put the girls over. Like I said, I wanted to put the girls over because we're like a family, right? You got to take one for the team. Because they worked very, very hard last week at the during the performance at the Row concert at the Toronto Pavilion. And now I want them up front and like I'm putting them over. Because it's not, it's not, it's not about me. Right, I didn't want to make it about me, so I decided to put the I put the girls over on my Facebook Live, and they, and they and I did, because at the end of the day, man, they're very young talent, not young but like young talent, and even like the mid thirties, early forties, like I would say mid forties, I want them to go over, because of the hard work and dedication they put in, day in day out, at the workshop. And also heading into the performance, I was very, very, very proud 
That's why, you know what? Let's make it about them. I went behind the scenes. Like, you saw me on my Facebook Live. I kind of, like, show my face a little bit. And then just, just, like, you know, just, start, like, like we'll go behind the scenes a little bit. And then show my face a few times and went back and went, went off the, went off camera. Because I wanted to be about them. Even though it was on my Facebook, but at the end of the day, man, you got to take one for the team. I'm very, very, very proud of them. Because you know, who knows the next time I'll do that. <laughs> so that's all I got to say. So shout out to my family, the Ageless Reborn, and to my mom, Ems. So now I'm going to Oceans. Before that, I got to go to the TD Bank because uh, the money came in for my Ontario Works. And I haven't actually been to grocery shopping since August the 29th. Before mom, way before mom died. Because last week I finished up the last piece of the mackerel. And I had some stuff left in my cupboard so I can eat on before the next grocery line. Which is today. So thank God, you know, I got my money. I'm getting my money just just a moment and then take it from there yeah because the last time i went like i said the last time i went grocery shopping was august the 29th and then next week i gotta go get my medication for my age for the adhd yeah <laughs> and yeah unfortunately i have to because like now the events are more events are coming up i gotta stay sh in shape i gotta keep myself going i gotta take take serious on that because the events are coming up and everything so i definitely need a new the next three months of my prescription for that. So I gotta get a hold of my family doctor and write out the next three months. So I'll give him a call Friday, tomorrow, so I can see I can book an appointment for next week or whenever they want me to come in for the consultation. And on uh, New Year's Eve, uh, Tony Monaco and DJ Bruno are back at Dirty Martini for the New Year's Eve party. <laughs> oh my gosh, you know what that means? Dance Music Kid Mix, I, Dance Music Kid makes a return on December the 31st at Dirty Martini in Oakville. Hopefully, hopefully the Euro Dance guy, my, my big brother, hopefully he comes out. Obviously, the pizza in Euro! On August, on, oh fuck. To ten, um, December the 31st, New Year's Eve. The countdown to the new year at Dirty Martini in Oakville. Yeah, because last time I was at Dirty Martini would be at, was on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving weekend, I was at Dirty Martini. Oh, it's a little warm up, man, the whole week. So I'll be looking forward to that. I love going out there and hanging out with, the, with my mentor, Tony Monaco. Yeah! Every time, man, we always take over. Take over the Wayback Party. They love me in Oakville this time of year. <laughs> Which is best because it's on the border of Mississauga. It's close to home. As soon as it's done, back home, back home to Mississauga. Well, back, back home to the border of Mississauga. Oh, actually, technically back in Mississauga. Just the border. And it's close to home. I have to go anywhere else. So when I get to the bank, I'll cut the episode. Such a beautiful day, Miss. Oh my God, I love it out here. Crossing the street. <laughs> And somewhere today is the last day of November, like December. And I got, and then Sunday I make a return to the, to the Don Koloff Arena. Battle, better known as Battle Arts for Destiny Wrestling. This Sunday, myself, Big Sister Shanna, Zio Giuseppe, and Bessie Rory. On Sunday, and then Saturday, the Jingle Bean. I reunited with the extended dance music family. 
so I get two days with them. So yeah, looking forward. Thank yeah, the last time we were all together was when it was like big. Uh, um, as Shannon was saying, it was her birthday, and they and prior to that, mom died. So they had they came down and paid their respects. That was the last time we were together, and then we're gonna be together this weekend. It'd be like a big family reunion. <laughs> oh my gosh. Side side careful. <laughs> see uh see if Punk is back at uh came back at Survivor Series on Sunday on Sat <laughs> Seth Rollins wasn't having his day. I just see Michael Cole backing him up uh top like you know, holding him back a little bit. I say, uh, it was in the Survivor Series was, was in Chicago, and uh, as soon as his song started playing, the whole crowd popped. And then Michael Cole had to hold back uh, Seth Rollins because he, like I said, he wasn't having his day. <laughs> so hopefully, I save breath the next WrestleMania. Punk and Rollins. He also got AEW as well. Edge and Christian TNT title. Yeah. Coming up very soon at the next pay per view. Okay, guys. This is the end of the episode. Thanks for all tuning in to Walk and Talk. This is Dance Music Kid Vinny Michael. See you on the next one. Please like and subscribe and share my channel. And I'll see you all soon. Have a great day, everybody.